don't mess with me type vibes. Frank Lucas type vibe, American Gangster type vibe. So you will definitely see me wear this this season. Definitely sporting it the right way. Ryan brings the ball back down and now down he goes. Got shot. What's up, guys? Welcome to Chalk Talk Episode 6. And today we have a closet tour. I'm going to show you some of my dope game day pieces, some of my shoes, and some of my great accessories. But before that, I'm going to show you my Week 7 game day fit. Let's go. What's up, guys? Let me show you my Week 7 game day fit. Start off with the shoes. Take it with the kicks. Yellow, really dope. Pink logo sign also represents my sister, Cancer Survivor. Shout out to my sister, Janicia. For the pants, we got Balenciaga leather pants, oversized, which is really dope. Got the Balenciaga sign on there. Really cozy, really dope, really love these. For the shirt, I got ERD, a clothing line in Paris, Paris, France, which is really dope. Vintage t shirts, got a bunch of those. Shout out to those guys. They make really dope vintage tees. And for the vest, none other, I got Rick Owens. Rick Owens is very special to me, as you know, it's like one of my top clothing brands along with Balenciaga. Shout out to Rick Owens. Shout out to the all black leather. This is what I'm doing for this week seven game day fit. Just really dope, really cozy. Vintage ERD shirt from Paris Prince. Let's get it. What's up guys? So now I'm gonna show you some of my game day fits throughout the season. I'm gonna start off with one of my favorites. Gucci leather jacket, really dope. Really giving me Gucci on the back. Really giving me paid in full vibes. Uh, like 1980s, paid in full, Harlem, New York vibes. Definitely gonna rock this coming up. Another great piece I like, you know I'm a big Prada fan. Prada trench coat which is really dope. This is like a runway piece. This is dope as hell. Kind of got a Prada sign on the back. You have your Prada belt to wrap around, to tie around if you want to tie around your waist. Definitely a signature piece that I'm gonna wear, like a travel trench coat. Good material on the inside, definitely something warm and cozy to wear when it get cold for the cold season. Definitely get cold in Boston. Next up is a Louis Vuitton, shout out to Virgil, one of his last pieces he made on the runway. Uh, kind of like one of these leather trench coats. Really dope piece. Inside, of course, got that baby, boot, that baby blue. Really great leather material. One thing I find about these, Louis, Louis for sure, really have great leather material, which is really dope. Always great quality when I'm looking for a nice jacket, especially being a bigger guy. Got your Louis Vuitton logo on the back too. One of my last pieces I'm gonna show you guys it's going to be a Prada, I call it like sheep material, kind of giving me like a sheep vibe, uh, really cozy. One of these things you probably can lay up in like a rug. <laughs> really dope piece, man, really dope hoodie. Definitely could see me rocking this this season once it get colder. Really dope piece, man. Gonna be nice on my skin complexion also. Got one more piece I wanna show you. I know I said it was the last piece, but I got one more piece I wanna show you. I think I have one more, might have more. I got so many pieces over here. But another Prada, like kind of like that sheet material jacket, very cozy, very warm. Definitely a, a winter jacket, uh, leather material in the inside. Love this piece. When I was picking it out, I was looking at it like I gotta have this piece. Really dope. Got your Prada sign right there, of course. You could definitely see me rocking this this in the winter also. Now it's time for me to show you some dope accessories. Let's go. So now I'm gonna show you guys some dope accessories, some cool pieces I just picked up, some pieces I've been had, but I think they're cool. I think it's, you know, some different, you know, some different pieces that I like to kind of wear, some new things, so check it out. Here we have some Chanel pearls. Shout out to my man, Matt Fresh from New Orleans. Uh, hooked me up with a Chanel pearl set. I was been looking for a Chanel pearl set. Finally got my hands on one like this, different, one of a kind. 
shit, maybe one of one. You ain't really gonna see this. You got your Chanel sign right here, double C's. You got your, I call them like Mardi Gras beads. You got your gold Chanel pearls right here, which is really dope, you know. It's definitely gonna be something that I'm gonna rock. Eventually, it's really dope set. I have another Chanel pearl set, which is really dope. I wanna show you guys the original, the original. <laughs> The Chanel pearls right here also is pretty dope. Uh, longer chain from the from the one I just showed you, but I really like this one too. I kind of call them like the Mardi Gras beads. Really dope pearl set, really dope accessories that I can wear. I know it's like kind of different from what most people wear, but I definitely want to start rocking the pearls for sure. Now I'm gonna get into some of my favorite glasses besides the ones I have on. One of my favorite pair of products. Definitely love these. Now I'm gonna get into some of my glasses that I like to wear. You've probably seen these on previous pictures. Some Dior uh, glasses I got probably like two years ago, which is really dope. Uh, haven't really worn them a lot besides this year, but you know, had them like two years, but now just just pretty much rocking them. Really dope, uh, really classy Dior glasses, which is, which I really like. Next, we're gonna get into some all-time classics. You know, it's not, you gotta have these in your closet. Every man gotta keep a pair of, uh, Tom Ford shades. Every man has to keep a pair of Tom Ford shades. Definitely a, a dope, dope look. Tom Ford shades, I don't, I don't even think you can see my eyes, but every man has to keep a pair of Tom Ford shades in his closet. Next up, different, but my style, I love them. Shout out to my man Tito's at Chrome Heart, hooked me up with these. He said, you gotta come get these. You gotta, you gotta come get these, and he, he was definitely right. Uh, by having these chrome heart glasses. You can see the, the chrome on the side. Definitely, you can see it on both sides. Chrome heart glasses. Uh, definitely something that I really love. It's trying to give me that uh, Star Wars zone, kind of wearing these glasses right here, kind of like in the dark, kind of like in the zone when I'm wearing these glasses. That's definitely like a vibe. So shout out to Tito's for these. Appreciate it. <laughs> So now I'm explaining some of my favorite shoes. Of course, Jordans. These are just not even half of my shoes. I got so many shoes. I had to slow down on buying them. Here, right here, I have old school Jordans. Uh, shout out to my man, Shelf, kind of benches, the Jays. You know, I really love wearing benches, benches looking shoes. Also, I like love wearing benches shirts. So love these shoes, really comfortable, really cozy. Jordan 3 is probably my favorite shoe. So you can see all my Jordan 3s right here. Up here, we have, uh, Jordan 1, shout out to my man Tito again from Chrome Heart. You have the uh, Chrome Heart collab with Jordan 1. My man Tito is hooked me up with this. You can see like the Chrome uh, detail in the shoes, the Chrome Heart uh, symbol on the back, which is really dope. Also have them for, for my blue pair also, Chrome Heart. So this is really dope. He really did this for me. He did his thing on these. Shout out to Chrome Heart, shout out to Tito's for doing this. Really special. You know, Jordan 1's is probably my second, third favorite. Jordan 3's is probably my favorite. So cozy, you have the Tiana Taylor. Jordan 1's right here, which is really dope. Shout out to Tiana Taylor. These shoes are really dope. Uh, really comfortable, actually. When I first got them, I thought it wasn't gonna be comfortable because Jordan 1's, sometimes they're not really all that comfortable, but these are probably the most comfortable Jordan 1's that I had on, so. Shout out to Tiana Taylor for these shoes. These shoes are really cozy and comfortable. I really love these. Uh, next up, we have UNC Jordan 1s. Shout out to my man Shelf again. Uh, did these shoes for me, kind of like the benches look. You can see the details in them, which is really dope. Uh, benches all around the side, like he bleached them, did his thing on them. These are really dope. Love these. Shout out to Shelf for these. Uh, have so many benches shoes from him. He did his thing, did these benches. Neutral grays, which is really dope. Never even worn these. You'll think I worn them probably. 60 times, but I never even warned him. Uh, he just benches them for me. I never got a chance to wear them. He benches these, which is really dope. Actually gonna wear these pretty soon. I love these. Love these. I was dying to get these shoes, so I had to get these shoes. These was, you know, really important shoe. Really uh, padding in the inside. You got your note on the back of the shoe, uh, you know, which is really dope. You know, I think it's really creative when making a shoe, not just putting a shoe, but also putting a note to the shoe. To, to be very special and very rememberable. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite pieces. You know, some I haven't even worn yet. You saw me wear this piece lately, this Gucci piece. It's actually a Gucci uh, reversible jacket. 
that that's why I really wanted it because I definitely can wear it multiple times. You know, it's a reversible, so that is dope. So you'll never know because the jacket is reversible, but you'll know because I just said it on my YouTube channel. <laughs> this Virgil trench coat, one of his pieces he's made on his last show, you will definitely see me wear this this year. I love the detail in it with this uh, piece. It's like a button piece on the jacket, which is really dope. Uh, you know, the color just speaks a lot of it. Like the color just gives you like positive vibes like you go into the Caribbean. Of course it's hot in the Caribbean, but the material on it is so soft. The material on it is so soft, the color on it is so special. So when I get this, put this jacket on, like I'm about to walk into heaven wearing this jacket. Like it's really dope. Like I really love it. Like it really, it really speaks volumes. Like it's just feel like good vibes when I'm wearing this jacket, definitely. Shout out to Virgil R.I.P. the GOAT. Another one, uh, Balenciaga. Uh, but Balenciaga jacket with different, you know, paint designs on it, which is really dope. You know, Balenciaga always have something crazy going on, but I really love the brand. So this jacket is really like artsy. You know, you got all uh, the paint splash going all over. I remember when I first wore it, somebody said, man, somebody painted over you? And it's really the design of the jacket. You know, Balenciaga always have something creative going on when they do a brand. So this jacket is kind of really dope. Kind of give me them like, Home Alone type vibes, like long trench coat, but it's really dope, it's really cozy. It's really a dope jacket. You have some of my favorite uh, bomber jackets, denim jackets, having wore this. Uh, a Gucci denim jacket, really dope, you know, really cozy. Definitely gotta wear this piece, really fits me well. Uh, definitely look like I'm going to Texas type vibe. Definitely got some, some great material in it. All in the jacket, which is really dope. The buttons and stuff all in the back. You'll definitely see me wear this this year. I know I'm not a cheetah, but you know, I got a cheetah jacket. Givenchy cheetah jacket, which I'm gonna wear sometime this season. I don't know when, <laughs> when the old cage is gonna be, but I definitely gotta pull this off. It's definitely, you can tell it's giving, giving like cozy vibes. Gonna wear the hood? Definitely gonna wear the hood with it. You know, I might have to pop it off because I might have a fresh cut, so I might have to pop it off, pop it on. So it's definitely a cozy thing that I'm gonna wear this season though. One of my last pieces, but not least, we're gonna stick with the Givenchy fur coat. <laughs> this kind of giving me like paid in full vibes, like uh, big baller type vibes. You know, I'm gonna put it on for you guys actually. Like don't mess with me type vibes, like Frank Lucas type vibes, you know? It's kind of giving me those uh, American gangster type vibes. So definitely when Frank Lucas kind of walked in the boxing ring with the chinchilla jacket and everybody noticed them because he had the chinchilla jacket on but this is definitely a dope piece shout out to matthew williams Givenchy. this is definitely one of my favorite pieces that you guys made you will definitely see me wear this this season definitely sporting it the right way so i want to explain this balenciaga jacket you may see it and you may think it's gucci because as you can see the bbs in and out the ggs like the gucci you can definitely see the difference this is a collab that Balenciaga and Gucci did together. It's definitely one of my favorite pieces. Shout out to my girl Kat at Givenchy. Used to work at Balenciaga. Shout out to her for giving me this piece. Very special piece. I hold dear to my heart. Love this jacket and I think it, you know, it looks good on me also. Last but not least, I'm going to show you guys a throwback. If you're one of my fans and you've been rocking with me for years, you saw me wear this piece before. I still have it in my closet, still can fit it. A Yeezy season three jacket. Shout out to Kanye. The material on this is speechless. This is actually sheep. I know we were talking about the Prada stuff is look like sheep and it might be sheep, the Prada stuff, but this is actually sheep. Like this is actually real sheep. This is actually real deal material. You can see the season three Yeezy. Shout out to Ye. This is a very special dope piece. Love this piece. Forever hold it dear to my heart. Being a big Kanye fan. Uh, forever hold this piece dear to my heart. Forever rock this piece. This is probably my favorite piece in my closet that I still have from probably seven years ago, to be honest. Like, shout out to my boy, Matt Fresh. Never forget. I brought this piece when I was in college. So crazy story. I brought this piece when I was in college. My boy, Matt Fresh out of New Orleans. Had this piece at a store called uh, Live Nola, Li Live Nola in New Orleans. And I saw this piece and I'm like, man, I gotta have this piece. 
And I knew it like once. I didn't care how much it was. I don't even know how much it was during the time. It probably was around about 3500 And it's, it's, I, I can guarantee you it's a lot more now. It was very special to me being a big Kanye fan. And the color on it, the material on it was very special to me. So I had to rock this piece. So I'm going to try this piece on for you guys also. I'm going to put this piece on. Let me know you guys' thoughts, what you think about this piece. But it's very special to my heart. Shout out to Ye. I'm going to try this piece on for you guys now. So this is like one of my favorite pieces. As you can see, the material on it is really dope. Uh, sheep inside, all inside the jacket. Uh, this is really dope material, man. This, 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 this piece means... A lot to me, of course, I can still fit it from seven years ago, but this is one of my, probably, probably my favorite piece in my closet. Out of all the timeless pieces that I have in this closet, including shoes, accessories, everything, this is probably one of my best, my favorite piece I have in this closet still to this day, uh, seven years in, because I had it since like college, like maybe rookie year NFL, and I'm seven years in college, last year of college. So this is one of my favorite pieces. So now I just showed you guys my favorite shoes, some of my Jordan 3s, some of my Jordan 1s. Showed you guys some of my favorite pieces in my closet. Showed you guys some of my game day fits. Thank you guys for stopping by Chalk Talk Episode 6. Always a pleasure to have you guys. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. See ya!